I'm Jeremy Gerber. I'm one of the co-owners of the Roadster Shop and uh, one of the driving forces behind the, uh, the chassis R&D and development. We've been building fast track chassis for years and we've really concentrated on building probably the most elite chassis on the market, the, the lowest stance, the highest performance. The Camaro, I think, is probably the most widely customized vehicle out there. We've built dozens and dozens of Camaros. The Camaro, it's kind of a unique platform being a, a unibody subframe type car and what you run into is that you can buy a bolt-on front subframe, you can buy a whole variety of rear four-link kits, you can buy subframe connectors. What you end up with is pretty comparable pricing and a lot more labor to install all that. Not to mention it's, it's difficult to square that front subframe up to your car and, and these cars have been on the road for 40 plus years and they're not all square to begin with. What we wanted to create here was a chassis that required zero body modification. Now it's to the point where we've actually invested in some digital 3D high def scanning equipment and we've scanned an entire original Survivor Camaro from the front bumper to the rear bumper. So we've got the wheel openings, we have every single contour of the factory floors, the factory sub rails, and from there we begin designing the chassis. We developed a new process on these where we're using a laser cutting technology of tubes and we're able to kind of take some unique contoured cuts out of them and conform them into some pretty incredible shapes that will allow it to dodge around floor pans and these are shapes that you cannot achieve with mandrel bent rails. 95% of this is fabricated, machine, manufactured in-house. We used a Willwood Pro Spindle, so it's a, a forged component, a proven quality. The shocks we've gone with, guys we've used in the past, and there's great performance, great ride quality, great adjustability to be had with them. The car will still be able to utilize a 12-inch wide wheel in the back. We set it up where you can bolt this on directly to your car. The rear rails on this, they'll sit inboard of the factory sub rails. The front with the way the control arms have been configured, there's I mean, virtually no limitations as far as your back space. So you could potentially run a 295 and 315 stagger on this and, and have a, a pretty high performance outstanding car. Probably what makes me the most proud of this chassis is just seeing the final product, knowing that we built a budget-based system that in my eyes, you know, it could be biased, but in my eyes it, it's a high quality piece that I think stands out. It's above and beyond what anybody else is doing. And essentially you've got two, four, six, eight bolts and your chassis is bolted to your car. When we got started that seemed like an impossible obstacle to tackle, but I think anybody that looks at this product, it speaks for itself. 